Let's expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Hello and welcome back to Outside Xbox. You're looking at new gameplay from The Evil Within, the upcoming nerve jangler from Resident Evil creator Shinji Mikami. So brace yourselves, fans of survival horror for creepy old mansions that belong to creepy old families and creepy old doctors doing what turns out to be not medicine on what turns out to be not corpses. <coughs> Plus, classical save room music. All of which added up to a distinctly Mikami style experience in the two hours of the game we recently sampled. Speaking of that save room music, dreamy piano piece Claire de Lune will never be the same again. Soon that music won't be the thing you remember from that bit in Ocean's Eleven, it'll be the sound of sweet, sweet safety in the evil within, because it's the save room music, and you'll hear it whenever you're getting close to a save point sanctuary. The evil within is full of throwbacks like these to familiar old school conventions of the survival horror genre, such as the scarce ammunition and slow opening doors. That's not to mention the idiosyncratic dialogue in which protagonist detective Sebastian Castellanos understates the obvious. Damn it. That was close. Right, like that. Or... There's something wrong with this place. You don't say. Those old tropes combined with a relentlessly sinister atmosphere and gory weirdness give an early impression of the evil within as a game more Resident Evil than Resident Evil, at least given the modernised action-heavy state of the Resi franchise right now. So, naturally, there are also arcane puzzles to open doors and deadly traps. Ouch. The Evil Within isn't without modernising touches, such as the glitchy hooded villain here, Ruvik, or all the fancy lighting, or the way the mechanical snags of traditional survival horror are smoothed over for better shooting action, for instance. But from what we've seen so far, The Evil Within is a tribute to old school survival horror in a slick next gen skin. Wait. I've seen that house somewhere. It comes out at the end of August. Stick with us on Outside Xbox for more, and thanks for watching. I've never been here before, but... <laughs>